Hello everyone, my name is Noah, or Nomad, and I'm a Yurian main in Third Strike. Yurian is one of the most technical and iconic characters in Third Strike, and he's probably also the most well-documented character in the English-speaking community. That said, there's one major hole in this information set. Very few resources exist for people just starting out with the character. So, that's where this video is going to come in. This is effectively going to be Yurian 101. With the help of Dr. Steelhammer, I'm going to be talking about Yurian's overall strengths and weaknesses, his overall approach to the neutral game, his moveset, some basic combo theory, and the primary uses of Aegis Reflector. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. Yurian is a charge character oriented around patient aggression bundled with a nuclear option. He can be explosive and steal rounds, but ultimately, your job as a Yurian player is to cultivate consistency. Your main objective is to play safe, smart neutral until you can deploy Aegis in a favorable situation and steal the round. Yurian thrives off of strong positioning, and it shows. His normals are exceptionally large and very safe when spaced properly, but overall cover more horizontal than vertical space. In the corner, Yurian is able to use Aegis Reflector and his overall range to trap characters and run looping mix-ups that net him tremendous amounts of damage in meter. On the other hand, Yurian has limited defensive tools, so your decision-making, movement, and blocking will be your primary ways out of bad situations. On top of all of this, Yurian has a powerful and highly rewarding throw game, as well as some of the most destructive punishes in all of Street Fighter. There's no discussions to be had about what to do at the character select screen. Pick Super Art 3 and don't pick Green Yurian. Save your decision-making for the actual game. Daisuke, the legendary Ryu, has described Yurian as having an Emperor-style approach to the ground game, where you want to control a very specific zone at the maximum range of Yurian's pokes and keep the opponent out. While this is going on, you want to maintain Aegis as a ticking time bomb of sorts. Most of your ground game should be oriented around jockeying for position, poking, and building meter, which is your first phase in the neutral. You want to emphasize walking, meter gain, low commitment options, and safety. The second phase arrives when you have built Aegis, and are effectively a much scarier character. Now, your goal is to take and demand space, push your opponent to the corner, and make their life a living hell. In this phase, you want to hold the threat of Aegis above your opponent, and use it to threaten them into making punishable mistakes or getting cornered. Being able to reliably build and threaten with Aegis is essential to playing the character. Since Yurian is a charge character in Street Fighter, it can be easy to draw comparisons to Guile, or to try and use old school Guile as a template for how to play Yurian. Do not do this. It cannot be emphasized enough how differently Yurian and Guile play, despite both being somewhat defensive charge characters. One of the defining characteristics of Guile is his ability to place the burden of doing things on the opponent. Sonic Boom and Flash Kick combined enable incredible low-commitment space control and strong ways out of pressure, which makes Guile very scary when he's down backing. Yurian, on the other hand, has no such tools. None of his charge moves are reversals, his frame data is unexceptional, and his fireball isn't nearly as threatening as Sonic Boom is. Simply put, Guile down backing is scary, and Yurian down backing is not. While a Guile might be perfectly comfortable sitting in the corner or forfeiting a little bit of space to gain a charge, these can be death sentences for Yurian because of how bad his defense is. Once more, do not default to holding down or down back. You'll walk yourself into the corner and die without any meter. So, what do you want to be doing with Yurian? A lot of walking and a lot of poking. Use slow-paced movement and whiffing in neutral to hide his more explosive options like dash and tackle. Yurian's charge moves mostly exist to deal with very specific situations and to deal damage in combos, so focus on getting comfortable moving around the screen, poking, and anti-airing with normals. Next, we'll be talking about Yurian's moves. We'll be covering his specials first, since their applications are a little more straightforward, and then his normals, breaking them down into the relevant subcategories for understanding his approach to the neutral game. Headbutt is a down-up charge on punches. Tackle is a back-forward charge on kicks. Knee drop is a down-up charge on kicks. Sphere is a standard fireball input on punches, not a sonic boom. 
It varies matchup to matchup, but focus on using special moves in situations where you're already performing a combo, a juggle, or some sort of setup. Urian's specials have overall limited utility in footsies and neutral, especially at a lower level. His EX moves outside of EX Headbutt are absolutely terrible and should be forgotten about almost entirely. EX Headbutt, however, is one of the strongest EX moves in the entire game. It's safe on block, has high conversion potential, and deals a tremendous amount of stun and damage. EX Tackle can be used in corner juggles, but because of the power of Aegis, using meter on EX moves should basically take a backseat to combos that build meter, even if they do less damage up front. EX Knee Drop and EX Sphere should never be used, ever. Anytime you do use an EX move, what you're effectively doing is deciding between the utility of working towards Aegis and the utility of immediate damage. The vast majority of the time, unless it'll kill, you want to be working towards Aegis. Next, we'll be talking about Urian's Normals. Normals will be broken down into several subcategories and have their general uses explained. So, first up, Pokes. Your pokes include Stand Medium Punch, Stand Medium Kick, Stand Heavy Punch, Crouch Light Kick, Crouch Medium Kick, Crouch Heavy Kick or Sweep, and Jump Roundhouse. These moves together are the backbone of Urian's poking game. Your goal is not to get a huge confirm off of these. You want to control space, gain meter, and check the other player's approaches. Think about using your normals to build a perimeter where you can punish people who overextend trying to get in, and control space at the same time. Urian benefits from being at the maximum range of his pokes, where he can outrange most of the cast if you maintain this perimeter. Jump Roundhouse in particular stands head and shoulders above most buttons in the game. It functions as an air-to-air, -air, air to ground, and a poke out of a neutral jump. Its outrageous range and active frames enable extremely hard to contest and high damage poking, plus it's an optimal combo starter. In terms of special cancels, very few of Urian's normals are special cancelable. However, Stand Medium Punch and Crouch Light Kick can both set up Tackle into Aegis or Light Punch Sphere into Aegis. These moves act as nice starting points to get Aegis pressure established on the ground. Regarding anti-airs, you're going to want to use Stand Light Punch, Stand Medium Punch, Forward Medium Punch, and Heavy Punch Sphere. These moves are essential for keeping people from jumping. Stand Light Punch and Stand Medium Punch are Urian's strongest anti-airs by a mile because of the ability to special cancel them, which lets you add a tremendous amount of layers to your anti-air game. Forward Medium Punch should mostly be used as a preemptive anti-air to catch people who are about to leave the ground. Don't be too over-eager with Sphere, but if you have a read on a jump, you can cash out a hit for massive damage with successive tackles. Heavy Punch Sphere is the strongest because of its speed, recovery, and angle, which makes it both hard to punish and hard to parry on reaction. Last up is Launcher, or Crouching Heavy Punch. This is your best and worst move. It gives you everything when you use it right, and you'll lose everything when you use it wrong. Launcher sets up corner carry in the mid-screen, huge damage in the corner, and unblockables basically anywhere if you have the meter. Practically speaking though, you're going to be using Urian's Crouching Medium Kick more than just about any other button in the game. It is a consistently safe poke on hit and on block, and is extremely frustrating to deal with on the ground, especially for characters that rely on dashes to close in on you. It tends to frustrate people into jumping, or into being more aggressive on the ground. Either way, this is a huge chance to score massive punishment. Its overall speed and safety also make it great for simultaneously harassing your opponent and building meter. It's not special cancelable though, so there are no combo opportunities, though it is a valuable low guard break in unblockable setups and mix-ups. Generally, a huge portion of Urian's ground game comes from this move, and it is by far his best general purpose low. Now, with respect to combos. Assuming you're just starting out, you should be doing a Launcher Tackle in the mid-screen and Launcher Tackle Chop in the corner. Urian's corner combos are character-specific, so as you grow, you'll need to become familiar with the four major corner combo variants, which are as follows. Tackle Tackle Headbutt. Tackle Light Punch Fireball. Tackle Chop. 
tackle, medium punch fireball, roundhouse tackle, medium kick tackle. Tackle, chop, which is a failsafe combo. Once you're ready to branch out into the world of character-specific combos, check out Dr. Steelhammer's X-Minute Murder Series and the Urian vs. the World Guide. Aegis Reflector is one of the most complex and nuanced tools in Third Strike. There are no hard and fast rules, but some guidelines do exist. The three modes of Aegis use I'll be describing are Sweet Spot, Sour Spot, and Unblockables, and these three should be your primary uses of Aegis. There's a lot of nuance to this tool though, and much of its utility varies from matchup to matchup and person to person, so be sure to do your homework, play often, and ask questions when you lose. Aegis should primarily be used for something known as the sweet spot, which is when you sandwich your opponent between the wall and a mirror that is as close to them as possible without actually hitting them. The goal of this style of Aegis use is to keep the corner, rebuild Aegis, and have the ability to do three or four somewhat safe mix-ups. You want to use Crouch Medium Kick, Sweep, Forwards Heavy Punch, Universal Overhead, and Throw to mix your opponent up and farm for meter and damage. You are also able to place an Aegis directly on top of your opponent in the corner and make them effectively flip a coin on a high or a low. You can open them up with Crouch Light Kick, Crouch Medium Kick, or Sweep, or go high with Universal Overhead or Forwards Heavy Punch. This style of corner Aegis is high risk and expensive, but extremely rewarding if your opponent guesses wrong. Unblockables are the last primary use of Aegis, and they enable a hilarious and otherwise unprecedented degree of round thievery. Aegis, unlike almost any other projectile in Third Strike, must be blocked according to the direction it was deployed from, much like blocking normals from a character. If you cross someone up and hit them with an Aegis Reflector at the same time, the game will effectively be asking that, on a mechanical level, they block both directions at the same time, which is functionally impossible. They have to parry out. Blocking will not help. For the sake of this guide, we'll be going over two mid-screen unblockables that work on the vast majority of the cast. First, let's talk about how to cancel Tackle into Aegis. Do this by doing a half circle forward to get both the tackle and the first quarter circle for Aegis in one motion. Do one more quarter circle, and presto, you have cancelled tackle into Aegis. First, we'll be going over the standard Shoto unblockable, which is what you're going to want to be using on these characters. Launcher, tackle into fierce Aegis. From there, roundhouse tackle and hold down back for the duration of the tackle. Dash forward. Tap down, hit up, and medium punch. Congrats, you've now charge partitioned a headbutt and you've crossed over them. Dash back in, forwards medium kick to break guard, launcher, and do whatever. The other major type of unblockable you're going to need to know is the headbutt tackle unblockable, which works on these characters. Tackle into Aegis and hold down back. Move to up back, not up, for the medium punch headbutt, and then forward for the tackle you will cross under the opponent. Move back in, and then use forward medium kick or jump roundhouse to break guard, depending on their wake-up timing. Forward's medium kick is more reliable if you're starting out. As you move along, check out Dr. Steelhammer's videos for more specific and powerful options. And that wraps up Urian 101. Urian is an incredibly storied, expressive, and creative character. He's hard work, and you'll need to put in your hours both in the lab and in actual play, but if you can stick with him, you can go really far and be unreasonably cool. I hope this helped, I hope this was a meaningful introduction to the character, and take care. Cheers!